All right. I will move on to my Super Bowl props. This is the first time I've ever done a show like this. Uh, so hopefully it's interesting. I thought it was interesting when I was doing my research. Um, so I'm going to jump right into it. And I'm going to start with kind of the in-game prop bets that I'm looking at. And a lot of them aren't too crazy. There's not a lot of crazy odds on them. But um, I found a couple that were good value, in my opinion. And, and I think they would be good to take a stab at. So the very first prop bet I have is that the last play of the game is going to be a quarterback kneel. And I think that one's easy. It's happened so often every game, even if a team is going for four, it, games usually never end on a Hail Mary. It's usually the most boring way possible. And that's with a quarterback meal. So that's minus 180. It's not great odds, but if you can parlay that with a successful fourth down conversion in a team's own territory, then you could probably get plus odds. I think that's a great one to combine because both of these teams are super aggressive. And at one point or another, they will go for it on fourth down inside of their own 50. Uh, so I think those two together are basically easy money. You put in a hundred bucks, you get back 120. It's light work. Um, moving on, player props. Uh, I looked at so many of these and they're so hard to put together. You really have to create a storyline of what you think is going to happen in the game. So I thought my best bet, like hundred percent sure thing is you got to go Travis Kelsey over receptions, basically no matter what it's set at, because he's always set around seven, eight, nine in these games and he'll have 10 in the first half and then three, three more for the rest of the game. He always ends up around 10 to 13 in these big games because he's Mahomes' favorite target. He's super reliable. He can get open on almost anyone. He's so good at sitting in soft spots in the zone. So I just think over Kelsey receptions, um, I don't know about yardage, but definitely over for receptions uh, is definitely a lock. <clears throat> uh, another one that I liked when I was looking through was total yardage on touchdown passes. I'm going over 121 and a half because I think there's going to be probably six touchdowns scored in this game. Uh, that averages out to about 20 yards per touchdown if, if there's only six. But I think there's going to be at one point, there's going to be a 50-yard bomb either to Scott or, Scotty Miller, Antonio Brown, uh, Demarcus Robinson, Tyreek Hill, of course. So I just think that is a, the, a fun one to do because you know there's going to be a couple bombs in this game. Uh, and if you had two 50-yarders, that racks up yards very quickly. Uh, the next one I'm looking at is the position of the first touchdown scorer of the game. Uh, and quarterback is at plus 900. I can see the Chiefs having Mahomes roll out and run into the end zone or just a Tom Brady quarterback sneak for the very first touchdown of the game. Uh, and I like the value at plus 900. So that one's good to just sprinkle a little bit of money on. I'd also sprinkle a little bit of money on there's going to be a safety at some point in the game. Uh, just because it's happened actually quite a few times in recent Super Bowls. Most notably for me, uh, happened against my Denver Broncos on the first play of the game when they snapped the ball over Peyton Manning's head. That was that was painful. But uh, yeah, if you bet it on this, then you get a little bit of money for, for the craziness that will happen in a football game. So why not sprinkle a little bit there, plus 900, it's great odds. The last in-game uh, bet that could happen, I'm going both teams to have the lead in the first half at plus 115. Uh, I think Tampa Bay scores first and then Kansas City does what Kansas City does where they're down 10 in the first half and everyone's going, where are the Chiefs? Where, when are they going to show up? And they come out and score 21 points straight in like five minutes and everyone's wondering what just happened. So I think there's a really good chance that both these teams have the lead in the first half. That could even just be a first drive field goal and then a next drive touchdown. Uh, it's just as easy as that. And at plus with 115 at plus odds, why not? Right. It's uh, it's just easy money for a game like this. All right. That wraps up the in-game prop bets. I am now moving on to the weirdish prop bets. Uh, the first one is an in-game prop. It is that an extra point attempt will hit an upright. So uh, after touchdown scored, Butker suck up, get out there really big pressure 
pressure in all these moments for kickers and one of them's just going to doink it off one side or the other. It, it can doink and go in. It can doink and go out. All it's got to do is doink it. Uh, that's plus 450. I like the odds on that. I, I think it's a funny one too, where you're watching the game with your friends uh, or I guess not this year, but in my case, watching with my housemates uh, and it doinks and you start cheering and they're just wondering what is going on because <laughs> you just made some money, my friend. Uh, coin toss. I have Kansas City to win the coin toss and the game parlayed with the coin toss winner wins game. Uh, and I'm not sure what the odds come out to on that, but it's probably somewhere around plus 400, which is pretty good uh, because you're basically just bet betting the same bet twice, but you can put them together. Uh, so Kansas City to win the coin toss and the game with the coin toss winner winning the game. Along the lines uh, of that, another coin toss bet is you can do is not the team, but you can just say the team that bets the correct call uh, and then bet what that correct call is. So I'm going team bets the correct call with tails. So that means Kansas City is going to correctly guess tails and win the football game, if that all works out together in your mind. Why not, right? <laughs> so very specific, but we love and it. Over a coin toss has got to be peak gambling. I mean, it's 50 50. So yeah. it might be some of the best odds you've ever had. But if no, you just no. bet it, minus odds so it's less enticing uh moving along uh, i'm going to go under on the national anthem of two minutes um because this one normally people love going over they love thinking oh they're gonna hold that last no they're gonna hold that last line the flyby is gonna go over um and and most of the money goes to the over and i just think this one is one that can be manipulated, especially when the Jets go by. You can't hear when they finish the song. The God's Makers are probably going to try and stick it and, and make a little bit of money. So I'm going under just because it's the less fun option, but I think it's the option that's going to hit. Uh, Super Bowl MVP. I saw Brady and Mahomes. Like, it's normally a quarterback uh, in recent years, and Brady and Mahomes are both like big favorites. So it's kind of boring to bet them. If I were to go for a Super Bowl MVP and stick along the lines with the Chiefs winning, then I would probably have to go with Tyran Matthew or Chris Jones. Uh, they're really, really high underdogs to win it because a lot of the defensive Super Bowl MVPs that are up for grabs are like a JPP or a Shaq Barrett. Uh, one of those Bucks linebackers that are so fast and will make a ton of plays. But if you think the Chiefs are going to win, then I'm probably going with Tyran Matthew or Chris Jones as a Super Bowl MVP because they've got huge odds. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's better value. You can sprinkle five bucks and make 50 and, and yeah, and feel good about it. All right. Now we're going to get to some truly wacky bets. Uh, starting with the Gatorade that people are obsessed with. And another one where I'm going with the boring route, uh, I'm going clear at plus 600. I think red right now is almost even money because both teams have red in their color schemes. And so people are thinking that's what it's going to be. But then the odds are terrible. So why would you ever bet that? So I'm going clear. I think it's going to be water poured on one of these coaches. Uh it's gross to be sticky, and I think teams have started to realize that. You can also bet which group of players, offensive or defensive players, are doing the pouring. Um, so I'd have to go offensive. Uh, no, I'm going defensive because the offense will be on the field for the Chiefs needing the ball out while Andy Reid gets water poured on him by the defensive players. <laughs> you heard it here first. Yeah. Uh, next on, we got some broadcast props. Uh, I have COVID to be mentioned before the word pandemic on the broadcast at minus 500. And I have COVID to be mentioned before the word mask at plus 200. Um, so you could maybe parlo parlay those together, get some even better odds. Uh, I think those are funny ones. Yeah, I just think they're going to lead the show with in this COVID-19 pandemic and you've already won your money. It's like the fourth word he says. Uh, moving along, other broadcast props. I have Bruce Arians minus 200 to be the first uh, coach, so him or Andy Reid, uh, 
the one who shows their nose first from behind their mask. Uh, I think it's going to be Aaron's because he gets angry really quickly uh, and loves to yell and scream from the sidelines and his, his mask will droop down his face. So I have, I ha I'm pretty confident in that one. Uh, another weird one. Um, more broadcast. We got uh, Jim Nance and Tony Romo calling this game should be awesome. I have the primary color of Jim Nance's tie at plus 800 for purple. I'm going outside the box. It's probably not going to be purple, but why not throw five bucks on it? Uh, see what happens. Tony Romo, I'm actually more confident about being gray because gray just seems like a very common primary tie color, but the odds are plus 900. So why not? I think that's great value. Um, moving into the uh, halftime show, the prop that stood out to me, uh, we got our Canadian boy the weekend doing the halftime show. Uh, I'm going with him to sing The Hills first at plus 850. And Starboy, his big banger, is going last. And that's plus 1400. So some great odds on both of those. And uh, it should be a fun halftime show um, compared to previous years. I think The Weeknd's a pretty good performer. I'm not the largest fan of his music. Um, just, he's got a bunch of earworms though. And, and I think he it said he put $7 million extra of his own money into it, making it what he wanted in his image. So I think it's going to be a pretty spectacular show. Um, so looking forward to that from him and, uh, why not make some money off of it? I don't know. I don't know if last year I enjoyed more like the pole dancing or watching conservative Twitter react to the pole dancing. So I'm a little disappointed to get neither of those this year, but, uh, maybe the weekend can pull something out and surprise me. Yeah. All right. The last two, uh, are very, very outside the box at plus 5,000. I'm going to put $1 on this uh, for during a touchdown celebration, a player will throw the football into the cannon porthole of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers because uh, they have cannons there. <laughs> it's, it's Disneyland sponsored. There was a prop bet to have um, one of the players mention Disney in their Super Bowl MVP speech. I think that's not going to happen, but throwing a football into the cannon porthole. We know some guys like to be crazy. We've got some eccentric personalities at the wide out position. Uh, and so why not? Plus 5,000, one, one dollar, <laughs> make some money if it happens. It would just be an epic moment in your life. If you're watching on TV, you got just a little bit of money on it and they do that, you feel like a genius. You'd be levitating. <laughs> the last one, a Super Bowl commercial prop because uh, it's a, another huge aspect of the big game that people tune in for. I am going to bet on a Star Wars commercial of any, at, of any kind at only plus 150. I think that's a lock. They've always promoted their new movies or even like launched new shows. I think The Mandalorian had its premiere trailer uh, two years ago at the Super Bowl. I think they're going to launch another one because they've got so many new series on in production. And so I feel like this is a lock to have a Star Wars commercial at the Super Bowl. So there you have it. Those are my uh, in lengthy list of prop bets for the Super Bowl. There's so, so many more that you can find on various sports books. Um, but make sure I don't know the line, but 1-800-GAMBLER uh, if you have a gambling problem. Uh, but if you're just putting a little bit of money on some Super Bowl props, shouldn't be too big of a deal. Uh, just make sure you stay off of the, the sketchy sites and you'll be fine. All right. That wraps it up. Now I know uh, what to do with that little bit of Christmas money I had left over. Thanks for that. Yeah, there you go, right? If, you, if you're not going to sink money into a new next-gen console, you can sink it into some Super Bowl prop bets. <laughs> Way to tie your two segments together, bud. Course. All right, we'll take a quick break, come back for some combat corner.